Hello everyone on YouTube, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alka and today, as you can see, I am starting a new playthrough on Pokemon Y. This playthrough, just to let you know, unlike my Platinum playthrough I'm doing on my channel currently, is not a Nuzlocke. This playthrough is kind of like a playthrough, a shiny hunting playthrough, because at one point, I in one of my, I think it was Platinum, Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke episode 1, I asked you guys if um, you guys would like to see some shiny hunting on my channel. Even though I have not yet gotten a response, I decided to do some shiny hunting anyway it's because it's something I, I like to do. And, and I'm not going to be using Masuda method or most methods i will be using some methods here and there but mostly i will be using full odds most of the time so like i'll use full odds if i can't use like i'm gonna, mainly gonna use full odds and fish chaining those are the two i'm definitely going to use and i'm gonna use soft resets and some other stuff I haven't decided on yet. So soft resets, full odds, and um, like chain fishing is definitely what I'm going to use. And once this playthrough is finished, let me know if you guys would like to see me do some hunting in the safari zone. Because I before I reset my Y, I did some safari zone hunting and got a shiny Noibat. It wasn't what I was hunting for, but I really enjoyed the hunt. So... If you guys would like to see it later in the series, like I could do some a couple of hunts for the Safari Zone, not Safari Zone, the Friend Safari. So, anyways, so let's start this playthrough. So I'm going to soft reset for a shiny starter because. A, because the starter Pokemon I want, Froakie, is, um, looks amazing when shiny. Like, it looks absolutely amazing when it's shiny. That's why I'm going, but I'm going to soft reset for him, not Masuda method. So, yeah, um, I haven't seen many people do this because... Nobody has wanted to because it, it's just the most time cons it's the second most time consuming way to soft reset for a starter ever made aside from Sun and Moon. I have tried the Sun and Moon before, but um eventually I gave up because it was just taking way too long and that was at many hours of my life I would never get back. So it, when I wasn't a shiny hunt when I wasn't as addicted to shiny hunting as I am now. So just, I used to do, give up a lot. And still do. Because I, I do not like, I remember a couple of times I've given up doing um, SOS chaining because I just really don't find it fun. And like, Supreme Arcanines said this um like part like for people like him and also for people like me who's mostly a full odds hunter it's more about the hunt than it is about getting the shiny in the end yes you're going to get this you want to get the shiny in the end but I, would, I don't like shiny hunting if I don't enjoy hunting for that shiny because if you're not hunting for it then you're not earning it. And earning my shinies is what I like to do so. Even though two of my shinies in my collection, my shiny throw and my, I think that's how you pronounce it, throw, is Sork's red counterpart. But anyway, my shiny throw and my shiny star me. Both of those I got from Wonder Trade. 
Starmie I could excuse because it was the first shiny I ever had, but shiny door. Sure, I was amazed that I got a shiny from flick fl freaking wonder trade. I was amazed by that, but even then, like I I didn't. But then I didn't feel like I earned it, and plus it didn't even look that different. Anyways, I'm going on a chan tangent, so let's begin. Alright, Sycamore, give me some personal space, man. Give me space, Augustine Sycamore. Oh. Fletchling, I guess. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've started a Gen 6 game. It's hasn't been that long since I've played a Gen 6, like a an X and Y game, but... Oh god, I just remembered how painful that looked! Oh, that makes me cringe every time I see it! Oh, that's actually painful. So yeah, if my fingers ever get in the way of the screen, I am very sorry, because I, like I said in my both my episodes I have right now of my Platinum Nuzlocke. Um, I don't have a 3DS or 2DS capture card yet. I don't think I'll get one for a while. I will get one, hopefully, someday. And when I do, I might use it. That's why I'm thinking about not getting one because I'm probably not going to use it because I prefer the authenticness of playing without a capture card like it might make my videos less 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 good quality but hardly anyone watches my videos right now there are people who do watch my videos but very few so sorry I'm trying to give you guys the best view of the sc of my screen I can so see so yeah, I will do as many shiny hunts as possible if I'm hunting for a shiny Pokemon that you can fish for then I will use chain fishing because it will get me a bit more time to give you guys content Okay, okay, I need to save now. No, I don't need to save now, because first, I need to turn the tech speed to fast. Thanks, default. Save, confirm. So yeah, like I said, this is no Nuzlocke or Wonderlocke or randomizer at all. But it is a playthrough. So, let's get on with it. I will not be tracking how many soft resets I do because it will just be impossible to count. I don't really care what my name is, Amista, I guess. So. So. Brokey's the guy I'm gonna go with. I love Shiny Greninja. And plus. Like. Like Greninja is my favorite Kalos starter anyway. So, and plus, if you haven't seen Arizo's YouTube channel, he I'm gonna shout out to him in this video. Arizo's channel, he has made a, like a series on the best starter Pokemon to pick for your journey statistically, and for Kalos. Um, he. Let he um Froakie won to be the best starter. So yeah, he's statistically good for the game to play through with, and 
and he's my favourite shiny of Gen 6. Is that I that I know of. He's my favourite Gen 6 shiny that I know of. And also guys, since I'm not sure which um Kanto starter to get a shiny of, I'm most likely going to pick Charmander. Even though Charizard is my least favourite. So, let's see here. What? Where does it say? Okay, so yeah, it's down there. So, he's not shiny. So, we just off reset our game. So yeah, leave a comment. A comment question for you guys today is, like I said, which Kanto starter to pick to get a shiny of? Because I'm most likely gonna get a shiny Charizard. Because I, even though Charizard is my least favorite Kanto starter, he's my favorite Kanto starter shiny. So I'm most likely going to pick Charmander. But if you guys disagree with that and say I should pick Bulbasaur or Squirtle then I completely understand you guys can um, suggest whatever you want to suggest I could pick Squirtle or Bulbasaur if you want but if I don't get a response to that question to, to for which Kanto starter to pick by the time I I make the episode where I get my Kanto starter like if I don't get an answer to that question by then then I will just pick Charmander because since I'm playing um since I'm playing Pokemon Y, I'm gonna get Mega I would get Mega Charizard Y. And since Mega Charizard Y shiny is my fav is one of my favourite mega shinies. In fact it's my third th third favourite mega shiny because my favourite mega shinies are like number three would be Char like Char Mega Charizard Y. Two is Guard One and then, no two is Gengar and then two then one is Guard of War. Um no I won't. So, I will make l um, videos that are twin around 20, 22 minutes each for this series. And like, I have an idea of what my I want my team to be like. I want to have like my shiny Greninja, a shiny either I'd have shiny Char, shiny Charizard. But if the if another Cantosar wins the vote, then I'll have a, a shiny Talonflame. I'll have a shiny Pyro if it looks good. I haven't seen the shiny Pyro yet. I'll have a shiny like. A shiny water type Pokemon, so maybe a Gyarados. Even though it's the the shiny with the least value ever, I will probably get a shiny Gyarados for the water type. Like, because I'm not gonna pick Squirtle. Because. Then I'd have overlapping types on my team because not only am I getting the shinies, I want to use these shinies for a playthrough. So, and I don't want to have overlapping types, so I'll either have Charizard or Venusaur. So if I if if I if people vote for Venusaur, then I'll have Greninja, Talonflame. Venusaur, um, Tyrantrum, 
and I know this might sound bad, but what I might do is, like, later on, hunt for a shiny Gardevoir, like, sh hunt for a shiny Ralts in my Alpha Sapphire version, and trade over to this, because I do want to have a shiny Gardevoir on my team. Because I like Shiny God of War, especially it's Mega. Love Mega Shiny God of War. Really good. So yeah, I'm not gonna plan out my team yet because I want some more time to think about my team so yeah this video is yeah I think I'm gonna keep my videos around 15 minutes so around 15 16 minutes for this series So yeah, for this series, I'm gonna keep my videos about 15, 16 minutes. So, as you would guess now, this is going to be the last soft reset of the video. This is gonna be the last one in the video. Last, the last, shiny, the last Froki scene. And it is not a shiny, so, I am going to end this video here guys, thank you very much for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give a thumbs up, I would, I, it helps me and supports me a lot, and also please leave a comment so I can have some feedback on how I can make my videos better for you guys, and how, what they're doing well in my videos, so, yeah, thank, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I really, really, really congratulate you and thank you for making it to the end and not clicking on another video and sitting through me talk And thank you so much for, most of the part, sitting through me talking so, the whole video. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.